y'all and welcome back to Abilene, Texas. So today we have the back nine here at Diamondback Golf Club. It's a beautiful day as you could tell from the front nine. And if you haven't already watched that vlog, go ahead and watch that before you watch this one. If not, let's get started. Hole 10 is a par 4 and we are starting off with the driver. That tee shot left me in the fairway, but one thing I was struggling with on the front nine was really kind of hitting greens because I didn't really know how far the ball was going to go, and also because the ground just seemed very hard, it was hard for me to judge how far I should carry the ball. I will talk more about that later on in this video, so make sure you stay tuned and keep watching. As for now, I've got an 8 iron, it was a little bit into the wind and a little bit of an elevated green, so I was trying to give it a little bit more. On this approach shot. So I went with a bit more of a punchy shot with my approach shot and it ended up being just a little bit short so I should have either hit a full shot or taken one club more and it also ended up kicking a little bit left so as you can see here I am just on the left side of this green and I have quite a bit of distance to the pin. So not the best chip shot there, I thought it was going to roll out a lot more than it did. Something else you would notice in the front line of this vlog is I kind of have to change my chipping style here in Texas versus what I'm used to in Malaysia. So that is something that I'm adapting to as well. So a good par save there on the first and let's move on to the second. So the second hole or the 11 hole on this golf course is a par 3 and that is a typo. No, I'm not hitting a driver. I'm actually hitting an 8 iron on this hole. So again, I left my approach shot short of the green. If you have been paying attention, you would have seen that I have done this a lot of times during this round. And it is predominantly because, like I said, I wasn't really sure how far I needed to carry the ball. And I felt like because the ground conditions were so dry that they were just going to bounce off the green. It took me a while, but I think I eventually figured out what I needed to do on this golf course. I feel like there's nothing worse than putting when the flag is blowing on your line <laughs> and I know I could have taken out the pin but I just wanted to practice you know it's good to practice your focus <laughs> Now it's important to understand that just because it's shorter doesn't mean it's easier. So like I said just now with the tee shots, you have to be very strategic with your tee shots because it's so easy for it to run out of fairway. And I think, I'm not sure, but the logo of this golf course is a snake and there's a whole ton of like bad stuff that you don't want to go into and I think that there will be snakes in there so I'm, <laughs> you definitely want to stay out of that. And it's so easy for your ball to run out fairway and go into that. So it's important to understand that drives is important. But also for this course, hitting fairways are so important. And it's like, you can hit it far with the driver, yes. But if you run out of fairway, it's not going to be, you're definitely going to have a penalty. So hitting fairways here is so important. Being strategic with your tee shots. And understanding that the second shot, which is what I'm having trouble grasping, is like the second shot. Even though the fairways are so hard, the second shot and your approach towards the green, it actually, it, it sticks. So you don't have to worry about it going over and you have to just trust your distance, especially with the wind and stuff. It's hard to judge it and just like know that it's going to stop and it's going to spin when you see your tee shots, you know, just and the ground in general just being so brown. So you have to trust it and, you know, it just takes adjustment. But also like another thing that makes it hard is that the chipping here is not what I'm used to. 
So it's not that it's easier or harder to play something shorter or something longer, but I think it's all just very different. So you need to adapt and you need to know that, you know, just because the course is certain way doesn't mean it's going to be easy. See, this hole is not a perfect example. It looks like the left side is so wide and that's where you should aim. But actually, if you hit it too far left, especially if, you know, you're a draw player like me, it's going to be so easy for it to run out of fairway. So you really have to trust hitting it down the right side and just make sure that obviously, like, if there's something down the right side, that you're going to be able to carry it or you're going to be left or right of it. But hitting it down the left side is actually way worse than hitting down the right side for me, even though it doesn't look that way. didn't know that there was a massive slope in the center of that green but so it left it left my ball a lot further than I thought it was going to be but it's still a par so I guess no complaints but I definitely would have hit it more right if I knew that there was a massive slope in the center of the green actually thought I hit a decent shot there just exactly what I wanted to do because I was a little bit over club so it's gonna hit a like a fade and then the wind just picked up right when I hit so it went too much right but I mean it was a good shot actually very happy with that chip shot it was not an easy one there was not much green to work with i landed it perfectly so happy with that par So I also got cheated because I thought the left side was like a lot of trees but something look it's actually it's actually empty but yeah something I need to learn to trust as well playing in the wind is like when you aim when you have to aim towards like trees especially as a draw player and when the the wind is blowing left to right and I know I have to aim towards the trees you just have to trust it because you need to understand that the wind is going to take it back but just with our body it just naturally doesn't want to aim there but yeah, learning to trust it in the wind is so important. I don't know why I'm finding it so hard to putt it hard like it just looks fast and then you putt it and it's just like so short um, I got two holes to go I will not leave any putt short
Okay, so that hole was not what I thought it was at all. I thought from the tee shot that there was space on the left side that if you hit down the left side, there was no water has it. But it was like a 240 yard carry and <laughs> I hit a driver. I'm so lucky I hit a good shot because if not, it would have definitely been in the water. Um, but yeah, I got away with it. Got lucky there. And yeah, definitely did not see the hazard. I should have def I should have hit something like a hybrid of the tee, I think. So, or maybe, I think it was a 5-iron actually. So, because it was like 180 to that tree and I did realize that you didn't want to get it past that tree. So, mistake there, but got away with it. Got lucky. Yeah. <laughs> you guys tell that I completely lost my balance on the tee shot? <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.